Anchorage. I decided to keep the Anchorage uh, destination up on, on the GPS just to keep my um, just to keep in perspective, you know, how far I'm going and how far I need to go. This road is just awe-inspiring. This lake is so pretty. There's mountains surrounding this entire lake here. sign for it but I didn't read it. <laughs> that lake that we passed is Muncho Lake and now that when he said that I'm like oh yeah I remember that's what the sign said. Um, he, they didn't have any containers no five no gas containers for sale. You said yeah you got you gotta watch up here supplies are limited. Why is my fuel? Continue on Highway 97. The fuel gauge didn't go up. If I have issues with my fuel gauge, I'm going to have some real issues. Yeah, I pulled off and bought that overlooked the Montreal Lake there. And uh, the fuel gauge is now back up. It might have been a thing where I, did. I overfilled it. I kept like getting every little drop I could get out of it. You know, so precious is the fuel. Here's my buddy. It's a nice little setup he's got there. You know, I saw a sign. That said, when the sun's low in the sky. That's just nuts. But I haven't anywhere to go. Piped up this string. He's a, so a herd right here. Better stay close uh, to bison. home. Besides, my wings been clipped to the bone. What about removing them from the area, sending them back to the wild areas? Not quite sure what all area. of those signs like, are. The ministry is not sure the person by a lot. It says you can't move it. Wow. What the heck is that? That is crazy. Oh my god, it goes on and on and on. That's nuts. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I am at a vi the visitor center where all those where all those um, signs were and stuff. There's something like 50,000 signs here. It's pretty crazy. But I'm going to attempt to work on the truck just a little bit while I'm in a town and I'm, you know, off of the road and uh, to see if I can't get um, this truck running a little bit better. I changed that one coil, uh, cleared the codes out, so we'll see if that was the coil. We'll see if that holds up. Oh, and that those signs, there's over 72,000 signs. Not 50, 72,000 signs there. It's pretty, pretty crazy to walk through. Alright, well, I'm going to head back on the road. I'm fueled up. Actually, Dawn and Mayor, you texted me. Mayor, I don't know when, but Dawn, a few days ago or a couple of days ago for Happy Fourth. But I'm going to text both of you so you know I'm alive. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go today. I made it far enough. 
Still, I've been here a couple of days and just hanging out in the town. I really just haven't felt like moving on. So we're moving on today, um, probably to Haynes Junction, a small little town. I haven't been sleeping well. It, it doesn't get dark, and it just is light constantly, and it just it messes with me a little bit. Um, I'm looking forward to to a, a night where I can get like act, see the actual stars and and black. I mean, it has been so long since I've actually seen darkness. It's weird. I stayed in the Walmart two nights, and I stayed at a rest area where they were doing some uh, construction. One night, um, Walmart got full up. They don't let you. They don't let you overnight park pretty much anywhere, and county ordinance has no parking in Walmart too. But they worked out a deal where they stick you like in the in the corner. So at the end of the day, all of the RVs get sucked in that are in town get sucked into that one spot. So if you're not there early enough, you know you can't find a parking space to sleep. And that happened to me uh, the other night. So I'm driving around trying to find somewhere to sleep. But anyway, uh, they're doing um, construction by the uh, by the rest area, right on the rest area. And the lady there that was the flagger, I had just talked to her briefly. was like, is it okay if I parked where I parked, you know, because of the construction and stuff. And uh, she said, yeah, just be careful. They spotted a grizz before. I'm like, a what? She's like, a grizzly? Grizzly bear? <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? So it's quite rare, rare to uh, to have one actually come into the city limits like that, but I didn't see it. I was dying to see it. I can't, I, <laughs> I didn't sleep well that night because I kept getting getting out and uh, getting up and looking out the, all the windows I could to see if I can spot anything. And nothing. No bears for me.
Okay. Did you buy anything in Canada as far as food goes? Yeah. Hey, welcome to Alaska. Thank you. Have I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you talking so, to me about this. Yeah. You know, we're kind of remote here. Maybe that was slightly weird.